Eleven møder kun korte forløb med opgaver. Vi sekventerer alt, så man får fem anbefalinger. Og efter det, så vil eleven få et lille bitte øh, hen til, hvordan nu er du nu kommet lidt videre i din målopfyldning. Det kan være, der er en stjerner eller et eller andet. Men når eleven så har opfyldt et emne, så får de en gevinst, som de kan putte ind i deres camp, som er en tom hytte til at starte med. Og for eksempel så får man en hjort, eller du får et gevær, eller du får en brændekurv. Og så efterhånden så eleven kan følge, at de har ud, eller nået en masse mål. Det kan de se ind i deres hytte, så den fylder de op. Og det er ting, de kender fra almindelige spilverden. So the idea behind adaptive learning is to really get an understanding of what every student in the world needs at any given point in time. So when a student uses a digital product, such as for example a linear camp mat, we will be in the background and will analyze what that student's strengths and weaknesses are, what his or her proficiency levels are, and based on that we will give personalized recommendations, content recommendations to that student in order to help him or her achieve a better understanding in the subject that is being assessed. It's definitely been a new experience for me, being able to so effectively communicate with a team who knows what they're doing and has been able to demonstrate that from the very beginning. Uh, working with Christopher has been great because he's been on top of the content 100% of the time. There's been no question I've had which has seemed kind of confusing, which has been amazing. Uh, the, the collaboration really played in, you know, being able to come to Copenhagen, be able to sit in with the team, be able to look at the content, look at how the product's performing, look at how it's coming together, and kind of uh, iterate on that closely. So being able to share the experience together, share it collaboratively, work together to what is uh, building a really cool product. Mm -hmm.